sometimes the place of giving up is actually a place of beginning, an opportunity to turn the way of the Lord, to turn away from the world and away from the flesh that cries out, I can't do this anymore. It's too much for me. I'm overwhelmed. I give up. Sometimes that's the very place of a new beginning, of a new start. And I was thinking about that just now, looking at these three very special Walk by Faith ministry doggies. Mr. Simeon, who just arrived recently, who's paralyzed and yawning. Miss Molly. Molly is paralyzed. She was born paralyzed. Mr. Simeon was hit by a car. And Miss Mercy was also hit by a car, and she's paralyzed. And I was just thinking about the fact that the world pretty much would have given up on them and would have said, just euthanize. It's the end of their lives. But it wasn't the end of their lives. It was a new beginning. It just didn't look the way that maybe the world expected it to look. And I think that's the place that a lot of us come to in our lives. We realize that it just doesn't look the way we think it's supposed to look. Maybe a relationship, maybe a marriage, maybe a new job, maybe a dream that the Lord has planted in our hearts. Something, something in our lives, we just think, I can't anymore. It's too much for me. I've been in that place so many times, so broken, so at the end of my own rope, so to speak. I heard once that the end of a rope is a good place to be because it's the beginning of holding on to the Lord. And it was spoken to me in different words, but that's pretty much the gist of it. And I was just thinking this was a new beginning for these dogs. And we're right on the verge of the beginning of a new year. A new beginning and I'm betting that there's people watching and listening right now who may be at the end of something and think it's over it's over it's over but you know what that might be the very place that God wants us to be because we're one step and one breath away from him and holding on to him and maybe even turning back to him if we've turned away or maybe turning to him for the very first time maybe we've met Jesus but we don't know how to follow him it's that place of new beginning and I also was thinking before I turned on this video camera and just poured my heart out, I was thinking of standing at the bedside of a loved one just a little over a year ago. He was at the end of his rope. He was in a medically induced coma, and the doctors pretty much didn't think that he would live. And I had got into a point where I got so caught up in my emotions, I saw his suffering and all the suffering of years past. And I just said, okay, if it's time to go home to heaven, go. And in my mind, in my heart, I thought, it's too much. I gave up on believing that God might still have a life for this man, for this loved one of mine. And you know what? I gave up, but God didn't give up. It was a new beginning, and it's now over a year later, and he is alive and well. And God raised him up. And it was yet another example of me needing to learn not to get caught up in my emotions and to look at something with my human eyes and my human heart and say, enough is enough, it's over. Yeah, maybe it's over for me in the flesh and it's over with my way of trying to do things. But you know what? Faith doesn't cease when the human heart does. And love never fails when it's the love of God. And when my human love comes to an end and my little, little mustard seed of faith feels like it's not going to make it, that's the time to turn to the Lord or to turn back to Him and say, God, this is yours. If this is the time for a new start, for a turn, for a return, to begin there to begin anew, to begin afresh, and to begin and to go the way of the Lord. The Bible says that there's a way that seems right to a man, and that way leads to destruction. But you know what? The way of the Lord, it never leads to destruction. It leads to life, because Jesus Christ is life. So I just felt in my heart to share that today, that if you feel like you are at the end of your rope or at the end of something, and something looks dead, something looks over, something looks finished, please don't give up hope. Maybe it's time to give hope up hope on that very thing. Who knows? I don't know. But I know that the Lord has the answer. And if nothing else, let it be an opportunity to turn to Him or to turn back to Him and to turn your will over to Him to surrender all of your life to Him, including this thing that you think is over, and go His way. Follow His lead. Follow Him. The Bible says if we want to follow Jesus, we are to deny ourselves, to take up our crosses, and to follow Him. And in denying ourselves, I believe that means we need to deny our own human limitations, our flesh, our limited vision, our own human dreams, to lay them down at the foot of the cross and to pick up the dream of the Lord, to live for Him. The Bible says that our job is to love Him with all of our heart, mind, spirit, and strength, and to love our neighbor as ourselves. What a beautiful way to start. What a beautiful place for new beginning to return to the Lord, to come to Him for the first time, to begin afresh with Him. 
to confess to him where we have fallen short, where we have missed the mark, to ask him for forgiveness in the name of Jesus, and to throw ourselves at him, to curl up, to cuddle up in his heart, in his lap, in his love, in his mercy, to receive his mercy and forgiveness, and yes, to begin anew. Look at these three little doggies here, my little three inspirations this afternoon, just fully enjoying their lives. Not as perhaps they or the world thought that they would on four legs running around, but walking by faith, just as you and I are called to live, to walk by faith in Jesus Christ. God bless you, and I pray that in some way that this message that the Lord laid on my heart has blessed you. In Jesus' name, amen. And by the way, please feel free to visit walkbyfaithministry.com and don't hesitate to call me if there's ever anything that I can do for you, pray for you, any way I can serve you or minister to you. God bless you.